Hey, what's going on everyone out there? My name is Jake James Lugo and welcome to the channel. Now in the early to mid 90s, there was a lot of different licensed games that were being developed, especially during the console wars between the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. And one of those games that was made was Shaq Fu. Pretty much when you get a big brand like a big time basketball player in a video game, it should be a win, right? I mean, come on, this game has Shaq in it, so it should be a win, right? Seriously, right? Oh God. Oh, no, 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 no! Shaq Fu is a fighting game that was created for the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo in 1994 by Delphine Software International. Apparently, there was also a Game Boy, Game Gear, and Amiga version, too. So I'll let you imagine what that's like, or just look it up on YouTube if you really want to see something bad. Anyway, the game stars the now-retired basketball player Shaquille O'Neal and was pretty much a marketing ploy for Shaq's career in the early 90s. It's funny too because this whole game pretty much comes from a random name that Shaq was given by a rap group that he interacted with, since they were both fans of kung fu films. This eventually led to the creation of Shaq's second rap album to promote the game's release. Believe it or not, the game Shaq Fu came with a demo CD of Shaq's first rap album, Shaq Diesel, for the Sega Genesis. I know this because I owned a copy of the game back then. Yeah, this actually happened. But enough background here, what's the story with this weird thing that we know as Shaq Fu? In present day 1994, Shaq is out jogging getting ready for a basketball charity event in Tokyo, Japan. By the way, before we go any further, why is it that every basketball player in a video game begins the story with a basketball charity event? I'm just saying, look it up, it's surprising and weird to see that. Anyway, Shaq ends up walking into a dojo and speaks with an old man, who tells him that his grandson is in trouble in a place called the Second World. For whatever reason, Shaq agrees to help him out and randomly enters the portal to beat down a bunch of random fighters and save the Second World. Yeah, it's a hokey story that makes far less sense than any other fighting game out there, but despite that, is Shaq Fu at least a competent fighting game at its core? This game is blah, guys, and I totally forgot it's October, so eventually something horrible was gonna come my way. The thing about Shaq Fu's story is that it's just so flat, compared to other fighting games and even other just random games that were released during that time frame. At least with some of those games, there's a little bit more you could latch onto, but with Shaq Fu, again, it's just flat. It's just that there's this, this, and that, and that's all you have to go on. The other thing I also find very interesting and in how bad it is, is the design for some of the characters outside of just Shaq. All these other fighters that you get introduced to, which, by the way, some of them are not even included in some of the other versions of the game outside of the consoles. They're just very basic. They're just very blah. There's nothing else that really you can latch onto with these characters. They're just kind of there. I mean, you have a crazy cat lady. You have this like wizard that's like a skeleton. You have a mummy that seems to be the main bad guy. You have a beast that doesn't. nobody even really knows what he is. He looks like a demon, and I guess they couldn't say demon on the Sega Genesis, or at least in that time frame. But it's just really weird to me that these character designs are just so kind of meh. They're just so kind kind of bad in just a variety of different ways because there's just nothing there. But it's not really just the story or the character designs that make this game feel like it's in bad taste. It's more so that this entire game is just like a marketing ploy just for Shaq's career. It's just solely made to make him look good in some way. Now I get it. It's a licensed game. It's kind of like, you know, build up a big brand and there's nothing wrong with that. You saw many other games around that time frame that were doing something similar. But with this one, it feels like there was not so much of an effort really thrown into this. It's just that it's a game that's just got Shaq with it. But a lot of people have talked about this game over the years and it's not just for these things that I mentioned. It's really about this gameplay which, oh my god, it's bad. No matter how you try to look at everything, Shaq Fu is fundamentally a buggy and broken fighting game. And I mean that it's really, really bad. To a point where you almost feel like you're getting punked by some of the things that are wrong with it. So many other people before me have commented on the visuals being poorly designed, especially with how small the fighters are on the screen and how much the visuals can blend together in all the wrong ways. But I want to emphasize just how bad Shaq Fu's gameplay is under the hood. It's nearly impossible to do any kinds of moves or combos that the game wants you to use, mainly because of the animation locks and nearly unresponsive controls. When you do anything in Shaq Fu like jumping, ducking, or attacking, the game requires you to finish the action before or you could do anything else. This is why you get so many people saying that the controls of the game are broken and they can't move their characters freely. You could even tell by the gameplay I got here how I can only really do heavy kicks and punches to somewhat be assertive in a matchup. Every time I try to do the special moves, I end up leaving myself incredibly vulnerable in the worst way since things just won't come out right. It just feels awful. This is very unlike other fighting games such as Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat where this kind of thing isn't an issue. You can interrupt your actions with other moves and still have your next inputs register without having to wait for your previous action to complete. 
Not in Shaq Fu though. And what's worse here is how the game is so tilted in favor of the computer because of this. You could struggle to do any of the character's special moves while the CPU can instantly throw them out frequently. It makes going through the arcade and story mode of the game incredibly frustrating. Speaking of which, the arcade and story modes are pretty much trash. They're basic like most other fighting games of the time, but the inherent problems with the gameplay make these experiences a complete disaster. The story you get with Shaq is unfulfilling, and the arcade endings for each character are all mediocre and don't connect to the main story mode at all. I know this is a criticism you could say about other popular fighting games as well, but at least those had a lot more going on for them in both terms of gameplay and overall presentation. Shaq Fu just feels cheap in comparison and hardly gives one reason to look past its faults for something better. The gameplay of Shaq Fu is absolutely atrocious. There is no way you're getting around that. I mean, seriously, it just boggles my mind how bad this is. This is worse than Eternal Champions. There, I said it. It makes me believe that this game didn't even really get beta tested because anybody that sits down to play Shaq Fu immediately could tell that there's something off, that there's something wrong with the gameplay of this game. Even in the footage that I'm showing you guys, I'm actually trying to do special moves with all the different characters that I played with. The inputs for them are very similar to both Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter with the directional inputs and some of the quarter circle motions that you would normally have to do in order to execute special moves. That's actually me trying to mash the inputs just to get the special moves out. This is why you always see a different type of move like a kick or something come out beforehand. And not only does it feel awkward, but it's very annoying and it puts me out there and makes me vulnerable whenever I'm in a matchup. Something like this you would never see in a Street Fighter or a Mortal Kombat game, which is absolutely insane to me because the developers, including Shaq himself, got inspiration from those games. I mean, if you want to take example from MK, Street Fighter, Tekken, or whatever else have you out there, at least try to provide a product that's actually good or at least somewhat par to those games. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not even joking when I say that the entirety of Shaq's free throw ratio throughout his entire career is probably better than the entire quality of this whole game. I mean, it's that bad, people. As soon as you touch the gamepad, you completely just get thrown into this world of just absolute terrible. <laughs> like, it's really, really bad. The other thing I also do want to mention is that there's a lot of difficulty spikes in Shaq Fu's arcade mode and in the story mode, and a lot of it comes from all these inherent problems, but also the computer just has access to instant special moves, which just allows it to do stuff a lot quicker and a lot more easier than you possibly could on an actual controller. So with all of that being said, is there at least one freaking thing that's a redeeming factor of all of Shaq Fu? Like, is there that one thing, at least? Anything, Shaq? Can you give me something, Shaq? One freaking thing? The only redeeming aspect I can see with Shaq Fu is ironically the music. And that's not saying much because the bulk of the soundtrack in this game is still pretty bad. I've played through all the console versions of Shaq Fu before, and the one that sticks out the most in terms of the soundtrack would be the Sega Genesis version. The tone of the beat and the sounds for the console just match up better with Shaq Fu's music, unlike the Super Nintendo and other versions of the game that don't really sound that good at all. Every stage has a track to represent it, pretty much like what you would see with games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, but the music in here is a lot more inferior. The best music in the game is one that you get in Beast's stage, which is for some reason is used as Shaq's stage as well. It makes no sense, it feels like Shaq was hoping that it would look a lot more cool than what it ends up being. Anyway, the track itself is much better than the rest of the bunch. You'll hear it at the end of the story mode and the credits, so I'm pretty sure that the devs felt the same way. Take a listen and you'll enjoy it for a bit, but understand that the rest of the game's music is still pretty bad, so that's really, really not saying much. So maybe there's a couple tracks in here you could latch onto or at least you know, somewhat enjoy, but even then the majority of the soundtrack is still pretty bad, man. Just like the rest of this game, it just screams all bad. I really believe that Charles Barkley could probably make a better video game than this. Shaq has already done it twice and I think he's got one more strike before he's out. And if that happens, I petition that we actually get Charles Barkley to make a better video game. Let me know in the comments section if you think that's the case. But even then, you know what's crazy about this game is that there's an actual website devoted to destroying every known copy of Shaq Fu in existence. I'm not even kidding, it's absolutely hilarious, go look it up. Seriously, people dislike this game that much that they want the complete and utter eradication of Shaq Fu. But you know what's even more funnier about all of that is that no matter how much they actually do that and how much they actually get to every single known copy that might be around there, this is one copy they won't get to. <laughs> you ain't never going to destroy this copy because the joke is just too funny, man. So anyway, can I really recommend that anybody check out Shaq Fu? Hell no, absolutely 
absolutely not. This game is trash. It's absolute garbage. It's complete and utter epic fail in so many ways. It just absolutely boggles my mind that I found a worse fighting game, or I had a worse fighting game in my possession that was worse than Eternal Champions. I mean, seriously, anybody who's a fighting game connoisseur out there that has an open mind about fighting games, this is still even bad for you. Like, you don't want to play this game. It's so bad. It's so mediocre. It's so, like, over the top, like, terrible that, like, I really am hard pressed to find any other fighting game that's worse than this that at least tries to be a competent fighting game. If you just want the enjoyment of seeing a full joke in motion, just a complete, utter, epic fail of a licensed game, then maybe you should check out Shaq Fu, but honestly, everybody else that's competent, that's sane, and a little bit more rational, you might just want to avoid it. If anything, make like Nelson from The Simpsons and just point and laugh at it. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on Shaq Fu. It's absolutely horrible. It's a terrible game. The hell with this game. Screw it. You don't need to play it. You don't even need to talk about it any further. But those are just my thoughts on the game. Maybe you're that one guy out there that actually likes Shaq Fu. Put it in the comment section down below. Tell me, what are some of your favorite fighting games? What is an actual fighting game that's worse than Shaq Fu? What are some other fighting games that you feel indifferent about? Put all that stuff down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video everyone, make sure you guys check out some of these other videos in the boxes after the credits, and don't forget to visit my Patreon page via the annotations for more exclusive content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Peace out, and stay epic everybody!